What's up guys? All right, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best money making method here in Grand Theft Auto Online in the year 2021. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get started on the import export vehicle warehouse business. In my opinion, the best business to run here in Grand Theft Auto Online as not only will you become rich fast, but you will have a whole lot of fun and get to drive all the cool cars along the way. So now make sure you guys stay tuned to the very end of this video because not only am I going to give you guys the full guide and method how to get your business started, but I'm also going to show you guys a glitch that's going to ensure that you get the maximum profit from your business once you've got your business up and running. So with all that being said, let's get into this video and I'm going to show you guys how to start. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually become a CEO. If you're not already a CEO, uh, you're going to need a million dollars to become a CEO because what you're going to do is you're going to go on your phone on the internet and you're going to go over here to Dynasty 8. And when you get into Dynasty 8, you're going to be looking for May's Bank. Now, if you just started playing the game, you most likely bought the Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack and it came free with the May's Bank. So you're good if you own May's Bank already. But if not, you're going to have to grind a million dollars in order to get May's Bank. And the reason why you're going to want to get May's Bank is because you're Want to sign on to your computer when you sign on to your computer you register as a ceo and this is how you source various jobs and buy various businesses you can't do this unless you're a ceo so once you sit down on your computer you log in and it's going to tell you you've registered as a ceo you're going to see these various things right here you're going to click on ve vehicle cargo now you're going to want to purchase a vehicle warehouse which is going to cost you 1.5 million now there's a few various vehicle warehouses that you can purchase but the main thing you're looking for is you're going to want to buy a 40 vehicle warehouse most of them are 40 vehicle warehouses some are two million dollars some are 1.5 million i suggest going with this one right here because this one is the cheapest it's 1.5 million and that's all you really need to get started you're not going to need to do any upgrades or anything you just want to buy the basic warehouse to get your business started once you start making money, you can go back and you can upgrade your business. So you're going to confirm that purchase. You're going to buy the vehicle warehouse for $1.5 million. After you've purchased your business... You're going to see there's a green button here, source vehicle. Now, every single time you want to get a job, you've got to come here to your computer and you're, what sourcing vehicle means, you're setting up the job. So now you're going to, you're on your mission to steal a vehicle and you're going to have to do this every single time you want to steal a vehicle. Now, once you get into the field, you're going to see that there's a lot of shiny cars around. You don't want to be deceived because you want to make sure you're getting the right car. Usually the right car is around the bushes and there's some NPCs standing around and making your job a lot harder to steal that vehicle. You don't really have to worry about it too much. You just got to pull out a gun and you just got to take them out because honestly, they're just really like standing around. And usually these NPCs are very easy to actually take out. And once you've pretty much killed all of them, you can steal the vehicle, right? So I'm just going to shoot all of these guys down right here. Like they were totally not prepared. Now they've got their guns out. But even though they got their guns out, it's very easy to take all of these guys out. Now, like I said, usually when you come to one of these cars that you're going to steal, there's a lot of other shiny vehicles around. You want to make sure you're stealing the right vehicle. As I jump into the wrong vehicle, look, thinking that this Porsche is going to be the car that I'm stealing, but really the car I'm looking for right here is this Tampa right here. You're going to know when you get in the car because right at the bottom of the screen, you're going to see their repair costs. Usually the car will go through a little bit of damage when you grab it, and that means that when you bring it back to your warehouse, you've got to take it back to your warehouse you're gonna have to pay for those damages to repair the car but it's minimal compared to what you're gonna make when you sell the vehicle so you deliver the car to your warehouse now I know when you first start playing the game, you want to make money fast. You want to sell all your vehicles. But what I want you to do is collect as many vehicles as you can. Because there's 32 vehicles uh, all together that you can that 
are able that you're able to collect your car is a 40 vehicle warehouse but you can collect 32 cars so i want you to go around and stealing as many cars as you can first because that's gonna ensure that the glitch is gonna work because like i said at the beginning of this video i'm gonna show you guys the glitch to maximize your profits so you're gonna collect as many vehicles as you can and bring them into your warehouse now some of these missions are harder than others some are easier than others it's really nice if you have a helicopter if you own the helicopter with the cargo helicopter you can use this to actually transport your vehicles to and from your warehouse and sell your vehicles and actually one of the missions that you have that you're sent on is actually to steal a helicopter and it doesn't mean you can own it it's only for this mission and basically when you get to your point because the car is on the water there's going to be some npcs there so what you want to do again is you're not going to just try to steal the helicopter because the car because they're going to be shooting at your helicopter so you want to land somewhere you want to get your gun out and you want to kill all the NPCs first before you go after that vehicle but again a lot of these NPCs are very easy to take out and then steal the vehicle they're kind of just there as a distraction uh, but once you are finally able to kill all of the NPCs then you can get back in the helicopter once you get into your helicopter, you hover over the car and you hook onto the vehicle. Sometimes this is easier said than done. It's easier maybe when you're delivering the vehicle and you customize vehicle. And I recommend when you customize your vehicle, putting like a really big spoiler on there so you can take the car because you can also damage the vehicle while you're transporting it in the helicopter. As you can see there, my repair cost is about three thousand dollars now but anyhow we're gonna deliver our vehicle to our warehouse now like i mentioned earlier you want to collect as many cars as possible because now i'm going to show you guys why when you come into your warehouse you're going to go onto your computer and when you go onto your computer right here you're going to log into your computer and it's going to show you all the vehicles in your warehouse if you collected all 32 vehicles like i said the reason why i told you to collect all 32 vehicles is until you have all 32 vehicles the system will not allow you to get double vehicles. So it will ensure that you collect all the vehicles. There's 10 standard range vehicles. There's 10 mid range vehicles and there's 12 top range vehicles. But until you reach the max 32 vehicles, the game will not allow you to source the same vehicle. So the glitch that I'm tell I'm going to tell you guys is the 32 car glitch because after you've collected 32 vehicles, you can collect multiple vehicles. But this is going to ensure that you make the maximum profit because if you're only selling top range vehicles, top range vehicles, you can make a hundred thousand dollars. You're going to have to spend on cost. Now, as you can see here, we're going to, we're going to sell one vehicle here. As you can see, if I sell private, I'm going to make $40,000. If I sell sh to showroom, I'm going to make $70,000. But if I sell this to a special dealer, I'll make a hundred thousand dollars. However, I do have to spend $20,000 to customize it, but that's still $80,000. And that's the maximum profit you will make from selling a top range vehicle. So, how the glitch works is if you collect all 32 vehicles and once you get to that point, you sell your top range vehicle. If you go down to 31 cars in your vehicle, when you go source the next vehicle, the system will always ensure that you're going to collect a top range vehicle because sometimes going out there to collect some of the mid-range vehicles or the standard range vehicles that only means that you maybe only make like $38,000 after so in order to make sure that you're getting the max profit you want to always be sourcing the top range vehicles so if you collect all 32 vehicles and your garage is full you sell one you've got 31 cars left the 32 car that you're going to grab is always going to be a top range vehicle now i know when you first start playing the game you just want to make money fast and you're like okay that's great but i want to make my money back but after you get to that point 
and then you've got your business up and running it makes sense for you to just try to collect all the vehicle first before you sell all the vehicles and then as you can see here when we go to deliver our vehicle sometimes delivering the vehicle is easier said than done there are npcs that try to take you out but like i said you just want to stop and you want to like shoot at them and take them out before they actually like shoot you out of your vehicle and then once you've done that you made it to your delivery as you can see there i made a hundred thousand dollars for selling that vehicle now as long as you have all 32 cars in your garage every single time you sell that top rated car you will always source the top rated car and that's how the glitch works and tell you the truth whether or not you're you're you you're you're maximizing your business and to this full potential or whether you just buy the vehicle garage and you source standard vehicles or mid-range vehicles this is the best money making method in grand theft auto online and the reason why i say that is because not only will you get rich fast but you will have fun and get to drive all the cool cars all at the same time along the ways to you becoming that multi-millionaire other than that guys i really hope this video was helpful uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I got nothing else to talk about. So you know how we get down. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. What's up guys? It's your boy CG Gamer here. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe and hit that notification bell for future videos.